for a frequency more than 40 megahertz we know it we cannot send it either by ground wave propagation or we cannot send it by uh, sky wave propagation it will puncture the atmosphere and go up we have two ways number one line of sight propagation where antenna should be quite high higher from the earth so that it is quite away from the earth and there is no induced wave parallel to the propagated wave and there is no sh short circuits that is one wave and that is from antenna to antenna line of sight should be clear there should not be any obstruction on the way otherwise it will stop because it has no tendency to bend round the corner it cannot bend round the corner okay because it is very powerful it goes straight we use this property for another type of reflection and that reflection is by anything in the space this is earth and space around it we are sending a from this station we are sending the waves and this wave we are not sending it straight but we are sending it with certain angle so with this angle this is going this way penetrating the atmosphere and it goes up and up and up suppose here we have a satellite and this satellite is rotating about the earth it will go and strike we aim it in such a way that it will strike this satellite so it will go strike the satellite and as a natural phenomena there will be reflection if the satellite is inert not active but that reflection which will bring it back to the earth that reflection will be quite weak and there will be so many other defects in that type of reflection by inert satellite so we do not favor inert satellite we have active satellites now what is this active satellite what is the activity in that first location of the satellite this satellite must be a geostationary satellite geostationary we all know that geostationary satellite are such which are not changing its position with respect to earth if i see them there they will remain there forever because my rotation on the earth and rotation of this satellite these two are rotating with the same angular velocity so whenever i give a direction it will always remain there neither this way nor this way nor here nor there that means if i am sending my wave to that satellite it will always strike that because my station is rotating the satellite is also rotating and both will remain as a set so it will always strike this satellite and what is the condition for that the condition for that is that satellite should be in geostationary orbit and such satellites are known as geostationary satellites now it strikes that satellite this satellite has got an arrangement of a repeater station what is that it has got a receiver so that it will receive the waves then it has got a amplifier so it will amplify then it will change the frequency change the frequency and transmit back so it is having action 1 2 3 and in between it will change the frequency now this giving signal from earth station to satellite is known as uplinking when this satellite 
transmit it back using its transmitter it will transmit here it will transmit here all this range is receiving signals from this transmitter everywhere any receiver here can receive this signal being transmitted by the satellite so what is the range answer this is the range more than one third of the earth can receive this this is the biggest range very big range compared to sky wave nothing to say about ground waves so this gives us a very big range and this type of transmission propagation going in the space coming in the space so this is a space communication and what we are using a satellite so we give it an adjective that this is a satellite communication so propagation space wave propagation space wave propagation communication satellite communication so in space wave propagation there was one line of sight communication that we were using on the earth surface and there is one this space propagation we are using it for the satellite this is satellite communication this is helping us in our gps system this is helping us in our tv transmissions everybody has got a dish antenna here just on the roof of his house this dish antenna is getting signal from satellite and we have seen how much is the frequency that is in the previous lecture okay so this way we can receive it so this is known as satellite communication how much is the frequency used more than 40 megahertz and it has to go to 12600 km so it has to be very energetic it is because the frequency is so high it has got lot of energy it can go and come back okay then this satellite communication if i send a signal from here can i receive it here answer is no i cannot because from this to this is the range only then if there is a match in brazil in argentina here is india can't i see that answer we have a solution for that and that solution is the global communication 1 2 3 there are three satellites the signal goes from here to this place and this will send a special frequency here this will send a special frequency here and they will send a special frequency these three are connected with each other by different transmitter and receiver circuit this signal which goes from here it is sent to this it is sent to this at different frequencies now it is also beaming towards earth this way this is also beaming towards earth now each of them is covering more than one third of the earth and the total earth is covered this is the system what we employ when we are having olympic openings olympic closings all the world is able to see that and this is global network global communication basically what it is space wave propagation then it is a satellite communication then we make the systems like that in our gps system also we have got four satellites and they are always connected with my mobile and they are tracking me that where i am then they will see my very small movements with help of that uh, communication space wave communication okay so this is all about space wave communication that was line of sight as well as satellite so once again if we see on the surface of earth surface of earth 
दिस कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज ग्राउंड वेव ग्राउंड वेव दिस कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज स्काई वेव दिस इज रिटर्न बाय आइनोस्फियर लेयर्स this is returned by satellite this is satellite communication very large range meanwhile we can have one antenna here we can have one antenna here and point at height this this is line of sight straight l o s so this is the total scenario of the propagation ground sky line of sight which is higher than the ground very high frequency no restriction cannot bend and this is satellite so this is all about the various methods of propagation of electromagnetic waves in communication system thank you